grouse is going to go. Oh, well, I, I meant he... I meant he was going to do that and then his wings went whirring as he flew off and then he did call. I think there's another one over there as well. Um, that was a good start to the video. I, I don't do this nearly enough, which is just to sit here and just, just sit here in nature and just soak it up and just enjoy it and appreciate it. So many times we kind of get obsessed with picture taking, uh, making the videos, technical things, and um, this is an important part of it. So yeah, this video, I, I tried to plan what I was gonna say and every time I did it, it, it just never worked out. So I'm just gonna try and just say whatever comes to mind, just off the cuff really. Um, I do think wildlife photography is a fantastic thing for your well-being and for your mental health i really do uh, i think it gives you a really good excuse to get out there and once you're out there in nature then everything you see everything you hear smell feel is going to make you feel better and that's the case today i'm so enjoying being here in the um, swaledale in the yorkshire dales and i have to put this up there as one of my favorite locations it's got to be up there near the top I've been coming here for a long time, I just absolutely love it up here. And I'd forgotten, I think, how much I abs absolutely love it and um, how much I can enjoy, you know, the, the peace more than anything. The peace, the stillness, the serenity, and, and that stillness is only broken at times by the amazing bird song, like the Skylark, which you might be able to hear up there. and curl use bubbling and red grouse calling, lapwing, there's a tumble in the air. And it's just a wonderful place to be. So I don't need to tell anyone how difficult the last two years has been. Uh, whatever country you're watching this right now, you know, I'm sure it's been difficult for you, it's been a difficult time for everybody. And uh, I think nature can definitely help you. Nature can help you, you know, just to sometimes forget about everything as hard as it can be. I think when you're out there like this, um, when you're out there enjoying the landscape, even though you've got all those other problems, you can forget them. It's strange, but sometimes it's like they, they don't even exist because in a way they kind of don't. When you're out there, none of it really matters. None of it's happening in a way as to when, when you are there in the moment. And watching wildlife can just be such a joy because you've just got so many different things, so many different species, uh, so much variety, different seasons um, and it's just good to explore and just see what you can find and even if it's something that you've watched and photographed you know maybe for 10 years or more there's still times when sometimes you can learn something new about that subject and that for me can you know almost give it a whole new lease of life and a new love for what you're doing and then if you get those special moments maybe where you've got a bit of luck where you can have those encounters and just have a little bit longer um, with that bird or animal or insect it's absolutely fantastic and what I love to see as well is behavior so any behavior any interaction I always feel like you're kind of you're being let into their into their life a little bit more into their little world and I always think that I always think that that is a huge privilege and just how beautiful some things are just you know simply how beautiful they can be where whether it's the plumage on a bird or whether it's the coat on an animal or the camouflage markings on an insect just the amazing beauty of nature and, and I think also how how simplified it can be in today's world where everything can be so complicated I think there's that aspect of nature that I like because it just is uncomplicated um, and it, it doesn't really ask anything of you and it just it just does what it does and it is and we get to observe and if we're lucky we get to photograph and I just kind of I do like that aspect of it that it seems a lot more you know simple and having those close encounters I know that's a big one for me just really really close encounters with wildlife which I'm lucky enough to do sometimes where you do get really really close uh, there's always a lot of excitement there and I just feel like there's um, a bit more of a connection as well to me you know when you get close like that a bit more of a connection between the two of you and again I kind of feel like you've been let into its life even if it's just for a short period of time and maybe you just feel like you you kind of connect more with the personality of that bird or animal that might sound a bit silly I don't think it is I think when you spend certainly extended periods of time uh, with wildlife 
then you do kind of pick up on that personality a bit. They're not all the same, they don't always have exactly the same habits and you sometimes see that slight difference in behaviour uh, and I really enjoy that and again that's only something that comes with those closer encounters where you have more time. So I think all those things are good for your well-being um, as well as just simply being out in the countryside and getting some fresh air, it's all good for you. And really whatever makes you happy, if it makes you happy, then it's good for you as far as I'm concerned. Um, that might be more walking around and just taking opportunistic pictures. This is actually quite a good photography spot. Two red grouse now. Um, the other side of it that I think can be really good for you as well is the challenge. I think we all need a challenge in life, whatever it is, you know, whether you go to the gym, for example. I like to go to the gym usually three days a week. You know, I want to get better at exercises, get stronger, etc. And it's just another challenge. And it can be the same with wildlife photography. Um, I think I'm literally in like a grouse r runway, between two grouse runways. If you're the sort of photographer who enjoys that more opportunistic style and you just love walking out in the countryside, then that's fantastic. But you might be the sort of photographer a bit more like me that enjoys the real challenge of getting a certain picture, whether it's the, the light, the background, behavior, maybe it's a combination of all those things. And that is a challenge that I really relish, which can often be very, very difficult. Uh, but to think that through and to see it through and get the end result is a challenge I really enjoy. And again, I think having a challenge is always gonna be good for your well-being as well. It's a great excuse for just getting you out there in nature. Uh, you know, you might not be a big fan of walking, for example, the landscape might not inspire you that much. But if you are out there to photograph wildlife, uh, then I think you're gonna to start to appreciate it as well. You're gonna to start to appreciate how everything looks and the sights and the sounds and even the smells at times. And I'm also gonna say a special thank you to all those people who've really supported me over the last two years and you'll know who you are if I'm speaking to you now. Uh, massively appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Well, I hope this hasn't been too much of a ramble. I thought I'd do something today, um, partly because I wanted to make this video, partly because I failed miserably the other day in trying to do an Upland Birds video. So I'm gonna be honest about that. I, I just made a complete cock up of that. Um, I managed to grab shot. Exposure's completely all wrong. Uh, I don't even think it's pin sharp, but I forgot now how this is trying to vlog this stuff. If you've any thoughts on why wildlife photography you think is good for your well-being or your mental health, then do put them down in the comments box below. Uh, I promise to read everyone and I'll try to respond to everyone as well. Okay, I am now going to call it a day, I think. Although I'm just enjoying sat here, so maybe I'll sit here for a little longer listening to the bird song. If you're not subscribed, then do subscribe to the channel, and uh, but click the bell icon for notifications and check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Oh, that's framed well, I like that, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pick a side of the road, I don't know which one. Battery's about to go, oh God. <laughs>